What's this about your leaving? You coming back? No, I can't. I guess you heard about them killing my father. Mm -hmm. So I decided to return to the ranch and live with my sister. Folks will miss you. Ha! Take care, Jimmy. So long. Goodbye and good luck. Come as soon as possible. I've been waiting so much to see you. I need you very badly at our ranch. Thomas tries to do all he can, but two persons simply aren't enough. Awaiting your arrival, Jessica. I'll probably arrive sometime Thursday. Oh, tell Thomas to make some fried chicken. <laughs> God, how I missed you both. Bob, Jimmy. Well, when your father was killed, I agreed to postpone our marriage. But it just isn't fair to delay it because of your brother. I know that, Louis. I know how you feel, but I'd rather wait. I don't see why you have to postpone it because of Jimmy. I don't understand. Listen, Jessica, if you care for me, there's no point in waiting. There's no one else who loves you as I do. You're young, pretty. It's about time that you had a life of your own. I don't want to go into it. Not now. Jessica. Miss Jessica? Miss Jessica? Yes, Thomas? I just wanted to remind you Stella's much better today. I'll go look in on her. <laughs> I'll tell her you're coming. Excuse me. Stella's our best man. Would you mind? The other day, she hurt a leg. It's a rather nasty cut. I have to keep cleaning the wound. I hope you don't mind. We'll talk later. I'll see you tomorrow, Jessica. I'm anxious to meet your brother. I feel that we're going to get along just fine. I got to go. See you tomorrow. Quiet now. You just put your head down. Be a good girl. I won't hurt you. You just stay quiet. You gonna marry her, Miss Jessica? I haven't decided. Nice man. But you don't care for him, huh? I don't know. Poor Lewis. He's tired of waiting. He wants me to make up my mind right away. And what are you going to do? <sighs> make him wait. You take your time or it's not being fair to yourself. But not only that, I have to be fair to him. You're quite a girl, Stella. Stella's going to be a brave girl and make a big impression on Miss Jessica. Easy now. That's it. We're just about finished. I remember when you were a little girl. You used to, used to put little diapers on kittens. <laughs> and little Jimmy with all his turtles.
You miss Jessica Dobbin? Yes. I'm afraid I have some bad news. You haven't touched your plate, Miss Jessica. You've got to eat a little. Why don't you eat something that'll do you good? Life is learning. And you've got to keep going on to learn how to live it. Thomas is right, Miss Jessica. We've got to accept what we can't change. I know exactly how you must feel. It seems so unfair. But what could be gained? That's the point. What reason would they have to kill your brother? There must be something. Why was he living in Springfield? He was studying to be a physician there. Ever since he was a boy, he wanted to study medicine. So we sent him to Springfield. Now he's dead, shot in the back, just like his father. What all of this means, I don't know. But I'll find out. You mustn't think about revenge, because our Lord, in his own way, will be punishing the killers. Someone had them murdered. I swear I'll find out who did it. I'm not going to rest until he's dead. If you help me, I'll pay you $300. More. 400 in cash. I want you to catch those killers. I'm not the man you need because I'm not free. Then I'll do it alone. It's hardly a job for a woman. Besides, I got a job of my own. I swore that I'd kill someone. That's why I'm not free. Forget about it, Jessica. I'm not your man. Then I'll do it on my own. Thomas, would you show him where I can sleep? Yep. Yeah. I'll be leaving early. In case I don't see you tomorrow, good luck. Go on, eat a little to keep up your strength. Someplace where there's some, ah, uh, go someplace where there's some, ah, uh, I know a place where... Are you going to Are you going to let me talk? Hey, you guys. 
Boss says to go over to Pedro the Mexican and have a look at the new girls. What do you say? Yeah. yeah. Well, they must not waste time to Pedro's. Well, let's go. Come on. Change your mind, huh? No, that's where I wanted to go. <laughs> Come on, Jasmine. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 this way, Senorita. Presenting the noble Senorita. <laughs> Let's all drink to Pedro, the M Mexicano, and the Bella Machachas. <laughs> then we'll drink to the girls. <laughs> Carry the pal here. The Watch drinks. another drink. <laughs> Let's go. Show us some of your f f fancy ladies. We're all here. Right, boys? To the Machachas. Let's get started. I have the honor of presenting the Senorita Villaluz. Here. Whose many charms are plain to see. Pretty, and eh? there are also I'm some fine. charms that there's no need to make the point that she comes from a noble family, so let's get the auction started. Who's the first man to bid for this nice little Mexican star? You're just a born doll. Twenty dollars. Quick, offer up the rest of the bids before it's too late. Thirty dollars. Ooh, 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 ooh. Forty dollars right here. Fifty dollars. And right you are, sir. Do I hear sixty? <laughs> Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars once, twice, <laughs> sold. Sir, you get the little lady. Here's your money. Come on, girl. But just my luck. Whenever I get X excited. Present the lovely Senorita Concheta. Hey, what can you do? Well, I can do anything that ladies do. <laughs> what are you offering? Come on, let's hear the bid. All right, forty dollars. Fifty. Sixty dollars. Seventy dollars. Hey, hey, girl. A hundred dollars. A hundred. A hundred going once. A hundred. A hundred going twice. A hundred. Sold. A hundred dollars for Conchita. Shame on you, Logan, how you talk. Yeah, I can say more, <laughs> numbskull. <laughs> I get too excited. Come here, beautiful. Come on, now. What a winner. Now to Flora. Oh, look at that. Calmly now, gents. And now present Flora, the flower of the Rio Grande. Get her quick now before the petals start to fall. Here's fifty dollars. Going once and twice and it's all over. You got Jasmine. Yeah, I know, but but I ain't giving her away. And another thing, you have to be a man to make that girl happy. Oh, I see.
your money from this afternoon's auction down at the tavern. And we finally found out about Jessica's brother. He's been taken care of. Ladies like you shouldn't mess with guns. They become easy targets. Good luck to you. Yeah, two cards. Looking for someone called Frank Damon. Frank Damon? There ain't no one here called Frank Damon. You take two? No. Not for me. Not for me. Hey, kick it. Can't let go. Uh, you got a room for me? Second floor, cross a buck. Two guards. Ooh, what do you know? Four aces. You are cheating. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Five aces. I am not crazy. There's no need to eliminate Jessica. Well, what's the point, really? Particularly now that her brother is dead. I don't want trouble. We can't attract attention, otherwise the whole setup will fail. What 
I don't understand is who killed Philip and Carl. Hey. Suppose it was Jessica's... Jessica's bro brother. You're right, it was Jessica's br brother. Right. Yeah. Well, he's finally taken care of. That's important. You told us that we got to get rid of the Negro, right? When are we going to do that? Yeah, we should do it. Of course, too late. Too late. And I got a feeling that those two are going to discover there's a vein of gold on that land. And then what do we do, eh? <laughs> Once I'm married to her, then I don't care. But first I'll get her to trust me. And I know just how. Yeah. Buy her a ring. Just imagine that someone rescues her after she's kidnapped. Just imagine. Yeah. Well, then, try to imagine that you kidnap her. Yeah. And I save her. But I warn you, you leave her alone. You got that? Hey, is that any way to talk to a friend? <laughs> try to get back home as soon as you can. And... Don't forget about getting that note to Lewis, all right? Don't worry. got to do is sign this little piece of paper. 150 bucks is a lot of money. Come on, sign. Not for any amount of money. If you don't sign over the ranch, we're just going to have to take it. We're just going to take it. Over my dead body. All right, drop that. Drop that knife and untie Louis, you followed us then. If either of you touched her, so help me, I'll kill you. Oh, Louis, thank God. I've never been so scared in my life. It's all right, Jessica. No one's going to hurt you. Now that I'm here, you don't have to be afraid. No, let me go. You never let me touch you. But it doesn't really matter. You two, outside. I'm trying to help you. Oh, you pretend to. No, it's true. You were in danger and they were supposed to bring you here, that's all. I knew it. It was you who arranged the whole thing. But I did it for your safety. What is it you really want, Louis? I want you to agree to marry me. You'd be a rich lady. No, I don't want your money. Or you. We'll see about that. You know, it's real strange. Mm -hmm. I mean, suddenly it seems like I've known you a long time. You know what I mean?
Like an old familiar friend. I don't know how it just happened. Don't you know what I mean? Hasn't it ever happened to you? No. Makes me feel good. I don't know the reason. Of course, I ain't good at figuring reasons. <laughs> you meet all kinds of guys. They're all the same to me. And someone like you comes in town. I wanted to. But from the moment I saw you downstairs, I was worried about what you'd say. I had to ask you just the same. I'll look you up sometime. Okay? That never happened. Some towns are hard to remember, but I always remember if there's a certain person. dollars and bust it me too me too I got a message to deliver to Mr. Lewis. Mm. I wonder if I could see him for just a second. I'll call him. Thank you. Sorry. Got to leave for a second. I hear you want to see me. Yes, sir. I have a note for you from Miss Jessica. <clears throat> Why don't you look where you're going, black boy? Huh? What's the matter? Why don't you say you're sorry? Huh? <clears throat> Frank. dead, that I was massacred like all the others. Just left there to rot on the battlefield near Crawfordsville. I'm the only one alive to get even for them. The men you sold to the Yankees for a few lousy bucks. That's a mighty big claim. The court said I was innocent. You and I both knew the truth, whatever the court said. I think you're getting kind of mixed up. As a matter of fact, you're probably crazy. 
Pretty nervous today. Relax. We'll get the girl to sign. I realize you're worried about the Negro too, but killing is hardly worth risking. Leave them alone. They're scared. I've got another little plan for those two, but it's going to take quick thinking. Jessica. Jessica. can't find her anywhere. She told me to go see Lewis and get back right away. Wait a minute. Why did you have to see Lewis? I had a message for him. Jessica's supposed to marry him. To marry him? Hmm. His name isn't Lewis. It's Frank Damon. He was our lieutenant. With the information he sold to the North, they massacred our entire battalion. He's the man I've been hunting. Well, let's get him then. How are we going to find Jessica? We'll go to the saloon. Those men will tell us just what we want to know. I hope that Jessica's still all right.
Someone's heading towards town. I think it's Sartana. I've been waiting. Right, boys, take cover. Let's give him a reception. Let's go. Come on. Sartana? Coward. out to the cave. Yeah, let them 
away. Yeah, that's the whole point. Now we follow their trail. Come on. and his men have left town in a big hurry. It means they are in trouble, I think. They may ruin everything. Sartanus, follow me. Oh, fool. Get Steve and stop them. He's at the cave. Fire! Shut up now. Give me a hat. Come on, get out of sight. Hurry up. They're, 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 they're coming. And the fast, too. Come on, hurry. Come on. Seen the hats? E, 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 there ought to be two, except now there's another one. Hey! That ought to scare him a little. We just follow them to their hideout. Come on. Yeah. Jessica has spontaneously consented to sign over the deed of the ranch. Why don't you tell the chief? Sartana's coming. 
All he had to do was follow you, stupid idiot. Come. Listen carefully. Yeah? Get some boys here. We'll prepare a big surprise for our amigo Sartana. And you better get back in there. Are you afraid? Those two don't frighten me. Well, you'll be able to help us. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Go with him. You two, up above. You boys, behind those trees. You two, come with me. Watch out! About time you realized it, but I've been trying to protect you. Don't tell me you think that I had anything to do with your father or your brother's murder. Maybe you're afraid to tell me what you really feel. <laughs> Come on, tell me the truth. Nothing but hate. You only make me hate. <laughs> You'll get over that. Thank <laughs> you. 
time has come for us to make a break for it. With all the shooting out there, they're not going to notice us. Come on, quickly! Let go! Let go! No! Lewis got away with Jessica. If we hurry, maybe we can catch them. Luis and the girl. Sorry to spoil your wedding plans. She doesn't look disappointed. But then I suppose that this girl knows you're a liar. You haven't told her yet that there's a vein of gold on her land, that you arranged to have her father and brother murdered, and that you betrayed me, your great lover. You miserable, cheating, lying, filthy bastard. I'll make you pay. That's enough. Leave him alone.
What's the matter? Haven't you got the nerve? Why not? <laughs> you like courage and brains, Louise. You know that. The smart never get caught. Come on now. Pull that trigger. Shoot. What are you waiting for? Come on now. Shoot. It takes more courage to kill a man. Muchachito. Pancho. Sartana's looking for you and our Jessica. <laughs> He won't have to look far. Pancho! Si. Can you two find a cage to show this animal? Si, patron. Up there. Don't get away. Bien. So those other two are coming, are they? The Negro and Sartana. Then we'll prepare a trap with our two prize guests, who will serve to bait them. First thing is to take her over there and make her sign the document. <laughs> if you sign that paper, no harm will come to you. Go ahead. To the lace pointless. Come on. No, I won't sign. Come on! No. Pity. Then I shall be forced to ruin that face of yours. <laughs> Let's show the men some more. Now we'll see if you have any other guns on you. Pedro, grab it, take it there. Out there. Turn her around. Take away your hands. Do as I said. Wow. Sign, we'll give you money. No, not even for money. Very well. Soon or later, you'll cooperate. I hope that tonight you'll come to your senses. 
Pago. Amerigo. Quickly get her dressed and see that she's put safely in the farmhouse. Pancho. Si, Padron. I wanted to untie Louis. <laughs> We're about to surprise Sartana with our friend. Unless you can think of a better way to do it. Come on. Up here for the night and get an early start tomorrow. But if we stay here, we'll lose our chance to catch him. We can't follow tracks in the dark, you know. He won't get away. I'll kill him. You leave that to me. I wonder if what we're doing is right. You chase a man, can't wait for the moment you finally catch him and kill him. Then what? You get him, but for a moment you hesitate to kill him. Because you ain't got no more hate left inside. No. I'm not like that. When I think of the dead. But you think that revenge is just for the dead? It's not the dead that asks for blood. It's you and I. And justice. I ask for justice above all else. Not just peace. So it seems. And you think you'll find it chasing and killing? What does it mean, all this talk, huh? We're dominated by hate. It's so much easier and natural to love, not to hate. I figured that out a long time ago. But there's a difference. It's only easier for you. Mm, for you? You and I aren't that different. You're a restless man. And the peace you keep searching for, if you want it, is closer than you believe. Well, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to get a little sleep. You two will make the first move. Get ready, and no noise.
going on? That was close. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Let's hope you and I don't have any more night visitors. Thomas! My road ends here.
present for you. From my friend Thomas. You making a social visit? Very smart. Yet you really should be smarter. <laughs> Poor thing. You never learn, evidently. But you don't lack courage. Hmm. Here. Closer. <laughs> You're going to get it. Drop it. Quick. 
quickly. Go on. Move. A lovely view, isn't it? <laughs> Go on. Go on, jump. Where's your courage, eh? It's easy. Go on. Go on, jump. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend Zartana. Hang on! Well, why did you take so long? You're a bit late. <laughs> why is it that you still can't shoot me? Eh? It's because you don't have the guts to. Pull the trigger or let it go. <laughs> Come on, it's easy. Pull it. <laughs> Oh, 
Satana, please. Ah. Satana. Satana. Jessica. Goodbye, Satan.